This is SPSS Modular Tutorial 2. I'm Santos Tan. I'm Research Assistant of Center for Marketing Engineering in the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Today's tutorial will include seven parts. It includes aggregate data and data standardization. And next is market basket analysis. And true regression. First is linear regression and logistic regression and we will output a prospect list of customer and final as the k-means cluster to segment the customers now you need to open your SPSS modeler in the lab 410 and I will skip this part first let's understand our data set we are going to use this data set to do the data analysis so first, you can see the first column is ID, is the customer ID and type. The type has 0 and 1. 1 means new customer, 0 means old customer, and age. 1 means old, 0 means young, and sex. F means female, M means male. And job, 1 means white collar, 0 means blue collar. And MS, 1 means married. 0 means single house, 1 means private housing, 0 means public housing, and PA, PB, PC, PD. Uh, 1 means the customer has bought that product, and 0 means the customer didn't bought the product. And the spend is the total amount of PA, PB, PC, PD. The customer has spent on these four products. And if you are the marketing research class student, you can see this in professor's PowerPoint. It is the same as the data set in that PowerPoint. So we are going to do this final stream to, to do data analysis. So first is aggregate data. For aggregate data, here is the question. For customer group with different age and sex, how many customers are they? How much do they spend totally? How much do they spend per person? So we are, we are going to calculate for different groups of age and sex. We need to count the number of customers and we also need to calculate the total spending and spend per person. So here is the stream. Let's go to SPSS Modeler to do this. So first you need to import the data set. Let's click source and check the one file. Double click one file and click here and we find dbm.csv here and then we find this data set. If I click apply and OK the data set is imported and we click here if we want to preview it we can see this data set so we need to aggregate the data and find out some result so we click view ops I'm sorry it's record ops and check and drop the aggregate it's the fourth node and connect the CSV to aggregate we double click aggregate and then now here we use the we use the age and sex to group because we want to find different groups of age and sex and then we want to calculate the total spending and record count so here we click age and sex and then we want to calculate the total spending here you can see the aggregate field we use spending the last field click OK and here you can see calculate sum mean and uh, minimum maximum standard deviation median count variance so here we only use sum and then here you can see include record in the field, it's record count, so it will count it for you. 
click OK, click Apply, and then click Preview. And you can preview that for different age and sex, the total spending and record count. Click OK and Apply. OK. So next, we are going to calculate spend per person. So now we are going to use the derived node. Click Field Ops and then find derive is the fourth node and then drag and drop the der derive to the canvas connect the aggregate and derive what are we going to calculate is spend per person and derive as formula and the formula is like this use the spend sum to divide it by record count so here we double click it we here we type spend per person per person and we use formula the default and then click this calculate icon and we use spend sum double click it and click here this one slash and then click record count click check okay so we calculate spend per person OK. Now, if you use output the table to see if it is right, click one, and then you can see here for different age and sex, it's the total spending and the number of customers and spend per person. So you can see here the young, the young age and female customers have the highest spend per person and the most uh, the highest number of customers is young and male customers so you can use this to ex to explain the data and after aggregate the data we are going to do the data standardization and here we found that for the sex, it's M and F. We are going to change it into number. So we change M to 1, F to 0. Now we are going to use derived node. And we put all of this to a side. And then we also use the this CSV node and derive. We found the few ops and find derive. Connect this two. And then double click on derive. And here we use gender gen gender one. We use gender one. And then here we use conditional, it's the last option. Conditional if the sex equal to n, check, OK. Then it's 1, else it's 0. So click apply and OK. If you use a table to see the final result, click run, you will see that the gender F have transformed into 0 and transform into 1. So the data standardization is finished. And next is market basket analysis. The mask the market basket analysis is the study of items that are purchased together in a single transaction or multiple sequential transactions. It means that we want to find out what kind of products the customer will put into a market basket. So what is purchased together? The most well-known example is Walmart. So the Walmart found out that for for male customers, when they are asked to purchase the diapers, they're also going to purchase the beer. So Walmart 
find out these rules and they can bundle these two products together and also put the diaper and beer in the same place to rewrite the store layout. Another well-known example is Amazon. It uses market basket analysis to cross-sell other products. On each page of the item of the product, you can see this. The customer who bought this item also bought and it used the analysis to cross-sell the other products. So here is an example of market basket analysis. You can see the product P1 and P2 and the number of customers. If it is the first record, it is zero means the customer didn't buy the product one, but bought the product two. This kind of customer has is 124 customers. So if we see the right, we use a weighing diagram to say this, we can find out the 59 means 59 customers has bought P1 and P2, 240 customer bought P1 but not bought P2, and 124 customer bought P2 not P1, and 577 customer who not bought P1 and not bought P2. So this is the explanation of the data set. And we want to see the probability of a customer to buy, to buy P2. So it should be that the total number of customer buy P2, which is 59 plus 124 divided by the total number of customers. So the result will be 0 0.183. And the next, we want to calculate if a customer has bought P1, then the probability of a customer to buy P2. We want to see if there is a connection between P1 and P2. So we use the number of customers who bought these two products, which is 59, to divide it by the total number of customers who bought P1. So it is 59 divided by 240 plus 59. It, it is equal to 0 0.197. So after that, we calculate the lift. It is 1.078. If the lift is bigger than 1, it means that P1 and P2 has a positive con correlation. And it, it is, if it is equal to 1, and it means that P1 and P2 is independent, and it it is less than 1, it means that this 2 is negatively correlated. So here is our question. We want to calculate that for PA, PB, PC, and PD, find out all the association rules with lift as bigger than 1. We, we want to calculate what kind of product they are going to purchase together. So we use SPSS modeler to calculate it. Let's go to SPSS modeler. So here we still use the CSV. And then we can see here, first we use type to read in the variables, which is PA, PB, and P PC, and PD. And we use comma to calculate the market basket analysis. So first, we, use, we click the field ops and find type, drag and drop the type, connect the CSV to type, double click it. You can see here from the right, all the rows as input. So first, we change it into none and click one. And then we find PA, PB, PC, PD, hold the shift and choose all, choose PA to PD, and then we change it to input. And now we can read values. So if we read the values, we can see here the values has been read. So we want to use the modeling to do it. Click modeling 
and then we find association. The market basket analysis is association analysis. So we find karma, the second node, and then connect the type and karma. So here we use the type node settings model. Here for the rule support, the minimum, we use one, and rule confidence, we use five. And then click run. 